Hello guys! This is me trying to screen grab my results to show you what I found. A normal 5.8 antennas. In digital video application I get log files, that's why I love to test videos with this. Because it's better to have solid data rather than compare a few analog video streams and see which antenna performs better and so forth. So I would prefer this method. But let's see what I found out and if these results already are enough for us. So my idea is to drive around with the RC car, which has DJI FPV on it, the air unit. Drive with 25 millivolts with different antennas into this garage here, here on our company ground. Drive in this challenging multi-passing environment, this preset course that I found for myself, drive it all the way through. And by the way, I'm standing behind this building up there. So losing line of sight and behind cars and so forth. The log files, I found that entering the garage here is the orange bar. This is the start. And this is exiting the garage, which is, you see, around here. First, I wanted to always drive at the same speed, the same course, to have them really good comparable, but that's not that easy. With uh, lower power, you get slower speeds and so forth. So I had to sync it up here or, or find the, the marks. So the first, with the DJI stock antennas, which we have on the first diagram here, I drove a shorter course, so that's why those two lines are shorter. This is, you see, Around here is where I lose line of sight, go behind the first building, and here it's okayish. And then uh, right at the moment when I enter, is at 17 seconds. So that's how I how I went. I scrolled through the video player, searched entrance, 17 seconds, and made this orange bar here. And then I scrolled through to the exit which is around 26 seconds. So that's how I got these orange lines. So here it's really bad and blocky. And that was my idea to get this comparison. On the axle we have, on this axis, we have the megabits. So in the best case we have 25 megabits. Currently, uh, soon there will be 50 megabits, I guess, with firmware update. But currently, if you have perfect uh, signal, you get 25 and something megabits. And also, like, it should be 4, uh, signal quality of 4. But this signal quality is from 4 to 1 and it doesn't tell us too much, really. So the bit rate is the amount of data that DJI can cramp into the RF signal that you currently have. So the idea is uh, bitrate is my indicator for good antenna reception. I noted on the top here, I noted which kind of antennas I used. The first test was using the stock antennas. The one up there is a bit broken. And also two of those. I will go behind this garage here and down in the other building, which is losing line of sight. Here all is left hand polarized. Uh, it's a match. But the DJI stock antennas are not really good. Um, word is that they are somehow attenuated by intention from DJI so that they can meet the FCC requirements. We really see that 5 megabit is this line here that driving inside the garage, I, I'm very low, most of the times below 5 megabits, which is really time to return. As soon as I get out of the garage, it gets better. And here I gain back line of sight. Here I lost line of sight. So it's pretty, pretty consistent from that perspective. So that's my baseline. DJI stock antennas, not so good. This was my standard curse for all but the first diagram here. Then left, drive around the cherry picker, which you've already seen in the video. <laughs> and drive out there and this is my exit mark which is marked in the diagram. I will try to do it with the stick just and like <laughs> fuck. I already crashed. I will have to repeat. Sorry guys. 
So you see with the SPV antennas on the right hand, with, with my antennas, I get really, I get better signal. It's, it's close to 5 Mbit, sometimes at 10 Mbit, really. So it gets a lot of signal out of it. So I think it's safe to say that from changing from the stock antennas to the SPV antennas, which are very cheap, by the way, these a -ohm ways, you get fair, a fair amount of better signal. Let's put it that way. And then I wanted to compare those antennas with different, different sets of antennas, different situations. Here we have polarization mismatch. That means that I use the DJI antennas, which are left-hand, and on the car I have right-hand polarized SPV antennas. So that doesn't match up, but and I expect it to get very bad video signal soon and can't even drive inside the garage, but uh, I was proven wrong. It's not so bad. So it's amazing how much signal uh, DJI can recover from very bad situations. So if we compare the outside of the garage, maybe here it is a bit worse, yeah. On correct antennas, you have 15 to 20 megabits here. And here with the polarization mismatch, it goes down to 10 outside already. So maybe that shows us that this is not so good. And inside it's similar, but the mountain here is smaller. So that's the amount of polarization mismatch. We should be up at 10 here and only are at five or six. SPV on top right and three DJI antennas. And that was my effort to uh, cancel out the other three antenna ports and only test one specific antenna, a SPV antenna in that case. And I placed, first I placed it on the top right port and I got just miserable results, all very low here. And then I took the same SPV antenna and put it on the pot bottom right and the other three ports with DJI antennas. Yeah, and on the car, of course, we have SPV with uh, right-hand polarization. So that gave me a bit better results. You see a bit above 5 Mbit, but still not very good in my opinion. So I'm not so sure if I can use this method to have one antenna that I'm interested in and the other three are cancelled out with the wrong polarization because we saw the wrong polarization isn't that bad at all. Here I use two Foxier Lollipops dubbies on the bottom ports and DJI's on top. So these, those, those shouldn't affect much. But still the reception isn't very good. It's all below five or averaging out at four or something like this. So not very good in the garage. Now I wanted to, and this is really not leading anywhere. <laughs> you can already turn off the video now. Uh, now I wanted to have one Pico patch on the bottom right port and three DJI antennas, which cancel out. And also with the Pico, I didn't see like 15 or 20 or really high values there. And then showing that the, that the patch antenna is far better in this situation. No, it wasn't. It was grounded at around 5 megabits still. And on my last test, I kind of start to see a bit better results. Here I had a three-turn helical, the Pico patch on the bottom ports, and on the top ports I have my a Amway SPW. So is this the best combo? Yeah, supposedly a better combo than the others. You see that our mountain range here goes up to almost 10. But this could be, this could be the same like this SPV antennas. Mountain range up to 10. So, Although I tried quite hard and I analyzed all the data, I don't have a solid result yet, sorry. But I wanted to show you this anyhow. And I'm wondering to myself how I cut the amount of video that I collected over the course of filming this. Uh, but I hope you will enjoy it anyways. 
uh, give me your suggestions what should i change and how can we see if we get better results with the patches and it's still not very clear to me if the patches should be used on the bottom like i heard many times now or on top maybe we can also find this out with solid data i would really hope for this but uh, until then uh, i think it's <laughs> An, an easy idea or a good idea to have SPV antennas on all four ports. They are the cheapest and they perform really good. They are not super small. I mean, I also love to use the lollies, but I'm not so sure if the lollipops from Foxy are as good as the SPVs, the larger ones. So I will also test in an, I ordered some more lollipop stubbies. And I also have the lollipop micros from Foxia and I will test them in the next video. So a lot of antennas to test and very hard work to get there. <laughs> hope you bear with me. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you kind of enjoyed this video at last. I can supply this Excel sheet if you want to take a look at it and examine it yourself. You will find links in the description, of course. And I will also maybe write the details of my testing below a bit more. But don't be afraid to ask me something. And until that, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now. Please subscribe and also use the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos.